Okay, just a quick demo related to the challenge of getting date time pickers available in an MVC application. There are many approaches, numerous tutorials, there are multiple ways to make this work. I just thought I'd share with you one of the easier ones that I personally find uh, seems to go okay. So, one of the things I've done here to get ready is I grabbed the final version of our medical office example from last term. I just unzipped it. All I've done is I've run the two update database commands here in the package manager console to get the database ready. Just a reminder, okay, the only date I have to play with here is the patient's date of birth, this nullable date time. So the two critical things, this uh, annotation for the data type, that is what provides, as we've seen in the past, the type equals date. Uh, uh, data attribute and so on for HTML5 so that HTML5 browsers know to show this as a date. But the other twisty thing we added was this data format and that is strictly for Chrome because if you recall in Chrome uh, create new worked fine right because you don't have a date to show but if you go to edit somebody with data there already it would just show that same thing month day year and would not actually display the date that it was supposed to unless you had it in that specific format weird thing of course is it doesn't show it in that format but if it's not in that format uh, then you know it doesn't work period <laughs> you don't get to see the date that was already stored in the database so this is fully functional and you could play around with that further if you want to make sure that you're getting the same date format uh, notice that in details here right we are seeing it year month day the way we expect it Okay, well, I'll leave that for now. Let's come back here to Visual Studio. The problem really is if we, for example, go with a different browser like Internet Explorer. Right? Remember we saw Edge, it has its own style of date time arrangement in HTML5. It doesn't look like a calendar so much as a scrolling selection. Ah, we'll bring it up in a second maybe, remind ourselves of that. But the most important point is in an application such as Internet Explorer, where we don't actually have full HTML5 support just yet. Create new and pfft, there we are. Nothing. No calendar to pop up and help us out, right? Same thing in edit and so on. So that's one of the issues we want to address is get something that will work with these browsers that aren't fully HTML5 compliant without interfering with the ones that are. And that's kind of our challenge, right? So coming back here, let me just stop running. What are we going to do? Well, let's just see here. I can leave this alone because I won't be changing it. Just want to remind you of the need for that. What we could do is I could come in here. I could use the console, but just review other approaches. Let's come down here to NuGet Package Manager. And it just manages the packages in our solution. You can deal with updates ready for the installed packages and so on, or you can browse for new ones. So if I just type date picker in here, It'll start looking for all the things. And there's lots of them in here from different people have submitted and so on. Here is, uh, I used to use a tutorial a lot for this that I would have students look at using the jQuery uh, date picker control. But you know, with Bootstrap anyway, you might as well go with one of the Bootstrap ones. And there's several different ones here. I find this is just one of the easiest ones because it doesn't, some of them want to replace your entire Bootstrap file and so on. So this one is just adds things in. Seems to be simple and very version independent for the most part. So I'll just click off check. Yes, please install. And thank you, thank you very much. Bada bing, bada boom, I accept. And that should finish in a few moments. I can close this now, I'm done managing the NuGet packages in my solution. All right, so that's finished. So that's good. Now let's just have a quick look here. If we look in content, we'll see we've added a bunch of new date picker uh, files in here for CSS. Some of the older ones are mainly here for uh, um, you know earlier versions or standalone versions with Bootstrap and this date picker 3, which works for all the uh, Bootstrap 3 versions and so on. And we've got some new scripts as well. If I come down to scripts, you'll see some date picker scripts here related to Bootstrap. But that's not quite good enough. What we want to do is we probably want to take full control and say when to use the Bootstrap one and when not, so that the HTML5 ones that already work very well can keep on doing their job. So we're going to right-click scripts and add our own little JavaScript file. So it'll be JavaScript. And I'm going to call it 
And this is, I can't take credit for this, this is right out of the online tutorial reference from the NuGet package itself, Date Picker Ready. So what we can put inside Date Picker Ready is basically a little decision. Right? We can use the modernizer library that we've been using all along. It's been there as part of our solution uh, from the beginning. And it allows us to basically inspect and find out which HTML5 features are implemented in the browser where the client is working with and which aren't. So if the browser does not support the modern uh, date input types, uh, then we're going to supply our own. So that's what that if with the not at the beginning, if it's not, fully HTML5 compliant, basically. Then we'll give our own little function here. We'll look for date control and use the date picker, right? That's it. That's all there is to this logic. So I'll just save that. A couple things we want to do then coming up here into our bundles. Remember, bundling and minification, very useful and powerful feature of uh, fully implemented here in MVC. So right now we have a bootstrap bundle and uh, a style bundle for, with bootstrap and so on. So really what we want to do is we want to add a, a couple of things here. One will be the actual uh, the bootstrap date picker, JS, and then our custom one that we just made ourselves, right? So we get that included. And finally, we do want some CSS to go along so our calendar looks pretty. And there we go. Uh, notice I'm using, because I'm using Bootstrap 3, any version of 3, then the Bootstrap uh, Date Picker 3 CSS is the style to use. All right, so that's basically that. Now it will give me everything I need when I need it, and this will help me decide, do I need to use it or not, right? The only thing left to do is, remember, we're going to look for this particular Bootstrap class, Date Control. So let's come down here and look at our views. There are two views where we have to be concerned about this. They're both patients, and it's only when we create and edit, right? So if I come down here to the data input for our editor for our date of birth, right? What we want to do right now, we have form control as the bootstrap class that we're specifying in the HTML attributes. So all we really have to do is add that date control class that was implemented in our NuGet package, right? So for the date of birth, I'll just throw in date control. I have an extra space there I don't need. Oh, no, I don't. All right, and that's good enough. Uh, on the edit, same thing on the create. One other thing that I might tend to do in the create, because of course it's blank anyway, kind of no point in having placeholder where there's data already, most likely. Uh, although you could, because it is a nullable date time, I suppose. But anyway, in here, besides putting our date control, I'm also going to throw in a, a comma, and we can add a placeholder, right? Placeholder is kind of nice because it fills something in until you actually supply a value. So I'll just say placeholder equals, I don't know, enter the date of birth, something like that. Okay. I could do that in the edit in this case, just in case it was left null, because it is nullable. But this is good enough for a quick demo. And let's just see how we're doing. So if I bring this back up in Internet Explorer again. Okay, so now in my Create New, I see my placeholder text. And there we go. There is my nice little calendar control, etc. Right, so I can go back a few years, January the 4th, and it puts the date in, right? No problemo. Back to the lit. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I'll just cancel adding that. And let's do an edit, right? So Jane Doe, she's 24 years old, and there is her birthday. I can click the calendar. E -e -e -e. Not so good. Why? Well, look at the date format. This is the date format we specified in our... Um, data annotation in the actual model class for the patient. Trouble is, you probably notice that when we use the little bootstrap date picker here, it uh, defaults to a different date format. So basically what's happening is it's looking at this saying, what? I don't know what that is. That's not a date the way I'm used to or look, expecting to look at a date. So that's okay. We'll have to fix that, but let's just quickly refresh here. Uh, see, have we broken? This one's still working fine, right? So Chrome is still doing its job. 
we can edit, okay, and we have, and this is getting the same behavior as I had before because we didn't change that annotation. Same issue, of course, that it's not showing it in a consistent format, but I'll leave that up to you to fix that if you really, if it really bugs you. The more important issue is this one, right? Because that's just not good. So let's come back here. And what I'm going to do then is deal with that. So all we really have to do is coming back here, if okay, we're deciding to use our own bootstrap date control, what we really need to do is provide a bit of an extra option inside of here, right? So really I can accomplish that uh, kind of like this. All I have to do is say format and then make it match the format year, month, day. One thing I do want to point out though, if we open the actual model again, the patient, I guess I closed it earlier. Notice that when I specified the format here, I have capital letter M's. Because remember, we're working in C sharp here basically. And this shows a difference between how date formats are specified in different environments or languages. Here we're working in JavaScript. If I had the capital M's, I would get the full name of the month spelled out. D-E-C-E-M-B-E-R for December and so on. And of course that wouldn't jive very well in terms of uh, converting it back and forth. So notice the small letter M's here as opposed to we have big letter M's there. But this is exactly what we need for it to work. So this should be the last thing we really have to do. Okay, I'll just go to the patients again. Just check my create still works fine. Yep. And if I pick a date, I'm getting year, month, day, back to the list. I come over here to edit somebody, and year, month, day, and there. Now my calendar is working. It's correctly getting the May the 1st from 1992 because the date format provided is the one that we're telling our bootstrap date picker to utilize. So we have fully func full functionality there. If I open Chrome again, come back to the same site here we are even editing the same record and sure enough this is still working fine because we told it basically hey if the browser is html5 and ready to handle it on its own we don't care we're happy so we don't try to intervene and tell it to use our bootstrap date time picker so html5 here works fine just as a final comparison let's just see here in edge if i bring up the same site oh i have to log in Admin one, yeah, yeah, go away. All right, so there we go. So it is a different look, right? But it is full HTML5 and good, good, good. All right, so it's working in all the different browsers that I've tested so far. I could bring up Opera, uh, but I'm not going to. <laughs> and away we go. All right, so that's uh, a little bit of a help for you. I hope I'll put that little uh, file up for those that want to grab the code that I use, but you can also pretty much get it all out of the uh, um, the video as well. There's not too much to type on your own. Okay, I hope that'll help. Bye-bye.